Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a fresh face makeup tutorial. I'm probably going to be calling this my 10 minute fresh face makeup tutorial or something like that because this takes me absolutely no time to do. It takes me 8 to 10 minutes at most to complete this whole entire makeup look on my face. But the only reason it's going to look like, geez girl, you know that took you half an hour, stop lying. It's just because I'm filming it and that process in itself takes so much longer. Plus... This is not going to be a voiceover, this is going to be a talk through makeup tutorial and that's going to make it even longer. So with that being said, that's why it seems like a much longer process. But this makeup look is honestly perfect for those of you who are mothers, going to school, working women, or just have a really tight schedule and you really don't have time for yourself in the morning. So this is a really, really good look that is going to help you look more awake and put together at the same exact time. You're not going to look over the top, but you're also not going to look like a zombie when you leave your house like I do. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy this makeup tutorial. Please leave me some requests down below for what you want to see from me. And if you want to see how to get this look, then just keep on watching. Oh my god, I just realized I had the fan on the entire time I was filming this video. Oh my god, I hope you guys are not like super annoyed by that. I'm so sorry. Honestly, I didn't even realize I had it on. Okay, so I'm going to start off by priming my face really quick. If you're wondering what this is, if you watched my last video where I did the hair tutorial and there was a clip where I burnt myself in the face in the very beginning of the video, yeah, this is the end result. An actual burn, but it's not that bad anymore because I did end up picking the scab. I know it sounds really gross, but honestly, it was just like the scab was just hanging, so I just like picked it. I mean, that's really nasty TMI, but that's what it is so that's what's on my face right now and then this little beast right now that I have just you know chilling I have a second chin right now totally cool I've had really problematic skin lately I don't think it has anything to do with anything that I'm wearing but I just think it's just stress breakouts hormonal breakouts because look at this beast like it's way too big so we're going to try to conceal that bad boy I'm gonna use the Maybelline baby skin pore eraser I really really like this primer I think it's a really good dupe for the uh, Professional by Benefit, which I do own and I do like as well. It does have that silicone-y feeling. So if you don't like silicone primers, then you want to stay away from this. But I really, really like them. I like to put this around my nose where I have the most pores and on my chin and on the sides of my lips. And then whatever's left, I like to take it um, and just like push it onto my face. For my foundation today, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal um, Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. I have only worn this foundation probably like three times um, since I've purchased it, but I really, really, really do like it a lot. Um, I was really, really skeptical to try this just because I didn't like the original L'Oreal True Matte. I was really skeptical to try this, but I saw a lot of people really, really liked it. Oily people, oily combo people, though. I'm like, well, why don't I just give it a shot? And I really, really do like this foundation like a crap ton um, I can do a full review for you guys if you want to see my wholehearted honest opinion on it but I'm not gonna talk too much about it right now just because I don't want this video to be too long so for that purpose I'm just going to start applying this all over my face and for that I like to use the I think I've showed this in the past but if I haven't it's the Real Techniques stippling brush and I love this for foundation I find that it works best to push this product into your skin versus um you know kind of like swiping it what's the word i'm looking for you know when you just do this with your foundation i find that it works best to push this product into your face because it's not the kind of foundation that's super 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 thin to the point where you can kind of like let it slide all over the face um, but it's not super thick to where like you need to like use a beauty blender because it's just that thick um it has a really really nice consistency and i really really like it and this claims to be a medium coverage foundation, but in my opinion, it can definitely be full coverage. As you can tell, I had that big um, burn on my face, and it already covered it with just one coat. I did already do my um, eyebrows, but that's only because I used the Anastasia Dip Brow, and I wanted to gear this um, tutorial more towards a drugstore, and that's obviously not a drugstore product. I haven't found a drugstore eyebrow product that I really really love so if you guys have any good recommendations that you really like let me know down below so I can go check them out this part is completely optional but I'm going to be spraying some of Mario Badescu's 
rose water spray. I talked about this in my favorites video. I've been loving this product so much. I think it does such a good job helping the foundation just seep into your skin and blend with your skin um, just because it just gives you that extra like moisturization and it just helps the product really really set into your face. So I'm just going to be doing a few sprays of this, completely optional. Whatever you have works. You can use Fix Plus if you want to. Um, I just really, really like this product. Foundation has fully set. doesn't take too long. Probably takes like two minutes or so, maybe even less. I'm just going to be going in with some concealer. And for that, I'm going to be using Maybelline um, Fit Me Concealer in the shade 20 Sand. And I'm not going to be doing heavy concealing or anything like that because I don't have a lot of time to do that for the most part. But um, just when I want to cover some dark circles and just help conceal um, some of my face, I like to use some of this. Just I just like to do a few dots of it. Nothing too crazy. I like to take some of the product up just to use it as a... God, what's the word I'm looking for? A primer. Yeah, an eyeshadow primer. And this is the Morphe G2 brush. I'm just using this to push the product into my skin. I think I mentioned this in my favorites video as well. I will link that video down below because I just I seem to keep referencing it. So just so you guys are in the loop and you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't seen it, I will list it down below. And to set the concealer, I'm going to be using some of uh, Rimmel's Stay Matte uh, Translucent Powder just to set the product. For my eyes, I'm going to be going in with um, the original... What's this called? Oh, um... God, what's that called? I don't know what anything's called today. Palette. This... <laughs> wow. Wow. Get it together, Elise. Get it together. Um, I'm going to be using the Maybelline's The Nudes Makeup Palette. I'm going to be going in with this, like, taupey, grayish shade. I'm just going to be putting that in my crease. You can tell the difference between this eye and this eye. This eye looks like it has a little bit more depth to it. So I'm going to be going in with this like iridescent, creamish, whitish shade. And I'm just going to be using this to highlight my brow bone and just to put it in my inner corners. Just to like give my eyes a little bit more of a pop. part is also optional but it's helpful to make you look more awake rimmel exaggerate in the nude eyeliner and like I said in past videos it's a lot better to be putting the flesh tone um, lighter colors on your waterline instead of putting blacks just because blacks tend to close your eyes out more um, so blacks are really really good for smokies and stuff like that but if you're just trying to just do very minimal makeup black eyeliner on your waterline it's just gonna make your eyes look a lot more closed together and I like to go for a more flesh tone just because it looks more natural instead of just using a white which just looks really really stark Next, I'm going to be putting on some mascara, and it's kind of stupid that I'm mentioning this. I kind of don't really want to, but it is my favorite mascara. If anybody knows, if they still sell it somewhere, please let me know. Um, but this is the Almay Dial Up One Coat Mascara. I love this mascara. It's probably, like, hands down my favorite mascara ever. But here's the problem. They don't sell it anywhere. It's completely discontinued. And before they completely discontinued it, probably like two years ago, I ended up stocking up and buying so many of them just so I would have some to like keep me going. I don't have really long lashes. They're actually pretty short and pretty sparse. So this is like the only mascara that makes my eyelashes look pretty decent. So if you guys know of any mascara that does the trick like this one, or if you really, really like this mascara before, and now you like another mascara that's really similar, please let me know. Like, you have no idea how appreciative I'll be because I really need to find a mascara that is similar to this one because I love it so much. And it's almost done! Once my mascara is completely dry, what I like to do is um, go in with the curler. I know, it's bad. I know a lot of people are probably going to give me heat for this. I know I shouldn't do it, but if you're careful and if your mascara is completely dry, I don't see why you can't do it. So, with that being said, I like to go in with a curler. Just because the more curly or upwards your eyelashes are, I feel makes you most awake. It opens up your eye more and it just helps your eyes look a lot more like, whoa, I'm awake. You know what I mean? Instead of just like, 
you see what I mean? Can you see a difference? Uh, 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 uh. For bronzer, I'm going to be using the NYC Sunny Bronzer. This is a cult favorite, and I really, really personally love it. And I'm just going to be bronzing my face. I'm not going to be doing any crazy contouring or anything like that. For blush, I'm going to be going in with this e.l.f. blush palette. I really, really love this blush palette. I'm going to be using this shade today. See? Wicked pigmented. Like, really, really, really pigmented. For my lips today, I'm going to keep it very simple. And I'm just going to be using some of NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Eclair. Love this lip gloss. And last but not least, again, completely optional, I'm just going to be putting on some of the Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray, again, to kind of just help set the rest of my makeup. You don't have to do it if you don't want to, or if you don't have the product, you don't have to do it, obviously. It's just what I like to do. 